you must realize that what you're passing through is not necessarily God's will for you. So it's your responsibility to constantly remind yourself of God's promises toward you. And while you're reminding yourself, you must make sure to constantly declare those realities by voicing them out. Constantly speak the reality about the level that you're desiring to unlock. If you're seeking more financial increases, it's important that you don't say negative things, but rather declare positive things. Declare God's promises boldly. If you're seeking a promotion, don't be small-minded. Rather, say that increase is your portion. Don't relent with your confessions. Keep on saying them. The words you speak have power over the reality that you will experience. Proverbs 18 verse 21 says that death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. As you speak, you're speaking God's intentions over that level you're seeking to enter, and you will soon unlock the door into that phase. As you're speaking, you're speaking God's words, and the Bible tells us clearly that God's words will prosper in whatsoever it has been sent to do. This is how powerful those words are. It holds the key to your next level. You can confess God's word over what you desire by speaking a Bible verse over the circumstances or saying what you desire. One important key for you to unlock your next level is hard work. The Bible tells us that to receive, you must pray and ask in faith. But further, it tells us that while we ask in faith, we must also work in faith. James 2 verse 14, quote, My dear brothers and sisters, what good is it if someone claims to have faith, but demonstrates no good works to prove it? How could this kind of faith save anyone? End quote. For you to unlock your next level, you would have to work in the direction that would cause God to reach out to help you. For example, if you're seeking a promotion at your workplace, yet you're very lazy in the things that you do, you're only going to be making it hard for God to help you out. However, if you work and try your best to achieve your goals, then God is surely willing to help you. You can't just stay put and expect a new level to be unlocked for you suddenly. You'd have to align yourself in a way that will make God unlock doors and opportunities for you. You can do this by stepping out in faith and looking for opportunities to achieve that which you desire. For your faith to work, it will have to act. Send out application letters, go out and market your product to people, do your presentations and motivate people to invest in your ideas. Just do something in alignment with what you desire to achieve. An important key that helps to open doors for your next level is faith. Without faith, it's impossible to even be motivated to work hard to achieve a goal. Without faith, it's hard to believe and pray for what we want. The Bible is said over and over again that faith brings results and that we walk by faith. If you will receive from God, it's through faith. You can build up your faith by reading God's word and studying it listening to materials and tapes that'll strengthen your ability to believe in God's mighty power. Build up your faith so that you can build up your prayer life and in return, unlock your next level. Through faith, you'll have the boldness to ask God for what you desire. An important key that helps you to unlock a new level is consistency. Consistency helps to produce results. In that level you desire, you must be consistent, and you must learn to be consistently productive. In your hard work, continue to put out efforts that'll bring forth results and unlock the next level. Don't be frustrated and give up. You must realize that your hard work will surely pay off eventually. Also, another thing to be consistent in is your prayers. Don't stop praying till that level has been unlocked. It's like a game. For you to reach the next level, you need to keep playing the game. When you stop playing the game, your progress stops. Continue your prayers and be patient and persistent. Don't be tempted into stopping. Keep 
praying and confessing God's word, as you've been doing. Don't listen to doubts or negative thoughts. They're coming from the devil. James 5 verse 16 says that the continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, and it is dynamic in its working. Persistence brings results. Another key for you to unlock your next level is for you to be grateful. You must learn to give thanks for the things that you have in your life at the moment. Gratitude is something that propels men to the next level. Through your praises and thanksgivings, you're communicating and telling God that you appreciate what he's doing for you. And you're even still going to be giving thanks when he does more for you. This sort of attitude pushes God to do even more for you. Even as humans that we are, when we're constantly appreciated by someone, there is more probability that you'll feel happy and motivated to keep doing the same things for that person. Giving thanks to God, even when you're faced with those problems and situations, shows your faith in His power. And He will surely show forth His mighty hand for you. Instead of constantly worrying and always asking God for more things, thank Him for the things He has done. Stop complaining and nagging. Thank Him. The Bible has instructed us to give thanks always, and that through our thanksgiving, we will be promoted and doors and levels will be unlocked for us. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 says, Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell Him every detail of your life. Then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you through Jesus Christ. As you give thanks to God, there will be rising and shifting for you that'll take you to the next level that you're seeking and praying for. Don't let thanksgiving be something you're missing out on. Let it not be something that you think is a religious start for your prayers. Do it sincerely and wholeheartedly. Do it whilst you're seeking God for new levels. It's a sign that you trust Him, and God always answers those who trust Him. The last key that'll help you unlock that new level that you desire is your mindset. For you to unlock a new level in your life, you must have the mindset and thought that you're capable of attaining such a level. What you believe is what shapes what you will receive. The Bible says in Proverbs 23 verse 7 that, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Shape your mindset to not give up. Believe strongly in yourself and keep going for what you desire in life. And eventually, it'll bring out results for you.